Hi guys, this is Rusty78609 and I'm in Alpine, Texas and pulling out of a something store there. And we're going to drive out here to the university today, Saul Ross State University in Alpine, Texas. And hopefully I can find entrance number three because that's kind of the entrance to the main facility. It's got several entrances. It's um, the university here, Sol Ross State University, is named after General Lawrence Ross, a Confederate general. And I'm gonna see, I'm not sure where entrance three is because I want, I know some of the buildings if I come in entrance three. But again, this is the campus right here for the whole university. And we're gonna go around here a little bit and you can see it. I gotta go back around a little bit. Gotta go down one more entrance and then I can give you a formal introduction to Saul Ross State University. But while I'm headed there, tell you what I know about it or what I've read about it. The university was founded in 1917. Again, it was named after a Confederate general, Lawrence R Ross, R-O-S-S. -S. And let me get up here. This, the, the, this thing is not laid out for my driving, you understand? but we'll do the best we can. The enrollment is about 2,000 students, which is uh, small, obviously, but this is not a great big area. The population of Alpine, Texas is 5,500. So if that's true, and these students are counted in the population, then this represents uh, about 35% of the population of this University. Anyway, this is okay. We're going. This will be road number three. Okay, so now I can tell you a little bit about it. When I turn right here, we're on entrance number three, and that building straight ahead is the library. And then up here, straight ahead is the admin building. To the right of that, to the right is the. Yeah, straight ahead is the admin building. To the right is an academic building where they hold classes. And then off to the far right is a computer lab. And a couple of the big things they do, the, the largest portion of the student population are involved in basically three areas. One is law enforcement. They do offer uh, some sort of certification in law enforcement. And the second thing they do is they do graduate a lot of teachers from here. And they also graduate a number of the students that end up involved in ranching and agriculture and uh, like wildlife management and range management. So that's kind of what this is all about. Now I'll drive on around here and maybe I can show you the uh, Oh yeah, the campus has its own police force here. Here comes one of them now. So be careful if you come here and park in an illegal parking spot. But we'll go down here and then I'll also show you where the museum is located because it's not that easy to find. Okay, this street here is Harrison Street and it's off of Highway, what highway is that, 90 down there? And you come down Harrison Street and I believe, if I'm not incorrect, we take the next, not this one, but the next entrance. I believe that's correct. Have I ever been wrong before? You don't know how many times. But this is East Avenue B that I'm turning on and we go down this street and on the right hand side, if my calculations were correct, which you know they are about 10% of the time. Which is better than zero, I guess. 
bumpy little street here, but that building on the right, it says that's the Vic and Mary something, Vic and Mary Morgan University Center. And I guess I turned on the wrong street. <laughs> Shit. Ah! Uh, don't give up. Oh, here it is. Perfect. Museum of the Big Ben, right here. Okay? Right here. That building right there, you can't see it, but we turn right here. There's a sign that says Museum of the Big Ben. You turn here and then find you a place to park on the left. There's visitors parking on the left. And here comes a car, just as I was going to pull out and swing around to show you the entrance to the museum. Okay. This is, you go down this little sidewalk here, if you can see that sign there. It says Museum of the Big Ben. It says Tuesday through Friday, or excuse me, Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 5. Sunday 1 to 5, Monday closed, free to the public, entrance ahead. And I went in there the other day. It's really pretty interesting. You know, you can take your time and walk around. It's a pretty large museum. And, uh, you know, it starts with the dinosaurs and moves forward. So you can actually walk through the museum chronologically. But all of this is on the campus, I guess you'd say, of Saul Ross State University. And uh, I'll end the video as soon as I get out of this face in the sun here and face the other way. It's up on a hill overlooking uh, the area of Alpine, Texas, and I'll end with that view right there straight ahead. It's really a great view. These kids, of course, you know, they're walking up down hills if they're walking, but that ain't going to hurt them, is it? Uh, particularly these young Turks. But anyway, guys, from uh, central, excuse me, from, near, from Alpine, Texas, you've just seen Sol Ross State University, and then an introduction to the Museum of the Big Ben, which I'll go inside maybe in the next day or two and do a video of it. But again, it's named for Confederate General Lawrence Ross, founded 1917, enrollment's about 2,000. Here's something I didn't mention. The average class size here is 20. That's amazing. You go to the University of Texas or some of these places, it's 400. But be that as it may, from the campus of Saul Ross State University. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye. Buy anything your little heart desires anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products. I sincerely appreciate that. And what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water. What else? Stretch, 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 walk, walk, walk. I've done my stretches and walking today. I may do it again this afternoon because it's a cool day here in Alpine. The temperature right now is about 80 degrees, which is not bad. The humidity is fairly low. So what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. You know, think positive and keep your health and you'll be out here doing all this stuff and enjoying what the world has to offer and what life has to offer. So having said that, my, my fellow homo sapiens, fellow humans, enjoy your life one day at a time. Adios amigos. Bye bye.